And I mean, all jokes aside, with obviously, you know, Roll does have a, a, a big lead here. He has been practicing a lot very recently. And um, it is still the messenger. <laughs> yeah. You, you just go to Tower of Time and you're like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to go for Hail Mary. Oh, I died. You're like, okay, I'm going to go for Minus Start. Oh, I died. You know, it's like Laser Skip. Okay, died there. Yep, died in Crystal Abuse. <laughs> you know, you just, there's like a million things that could go wrong, even up to the last stage. Well, you didn't uh, have to call out Belial like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was, I had Belial's run up on the other monitor and oh, stream right. up and just, just commentating, yeah. It was fresh in my mind. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it is always a pleasure to watch uh, roleplay. It's incredible how fast he's been improving. Yeah, he's actually scary, man. It, yes. This man is just <laughs> actually scary. Like, if you're if you're looking for one of those players that could upset um, and, you know, send, like, a top four player to losers, look for Roll. <laughs> like, he's, he's definitely one of those guys to look out for. Um, there's a, there's definitely some some people out there that could pull it off as well, but yeah, talking about roll here, it's just amazing the the improvement he's made since coming back and how many like hard strats and optimizations he's implemented. So yeah, and still is implementing. Yeah, like he's constantly just pre been practicing and referencing, you know, a lot of different top runs, uh, yeah. seeing how different people go for different strats and. Pick, you know, hand picking basically every strat and optimizing it to that high level. So it's Very been really cool to see. Oh, absolutely. Both runners getting a shard again. Is this actually the GG Speedruns Assembly C shard file? It's just got the, you know, the fair luck on the shard count. Is this the special uh, seed they've been talking about? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. I'm not quite sure, but. <laughs> Gonna be going through AHO2. Despite it being the second great screen of the game, it's actually really hard, um, especially to optimize. Like the highest level of optimizations of this room are like a second faster than what is in like, you know, like record level That's run. Yeah. yeah, like it's just the potential in that room is that insane. Um, there's just a billion turtles everywhere that you can boost very well. And there's also this uh, ledge at the end of the room that like you can get a better cycle on if you're ridiculously fast and like it can help you can kind of ride it to get a little more speed to the right so it's pretty insane like just how much like technical optimization potential there is in this first level of the game when you don't even have that many upgrades yet yeah just in one screen even yeah that's kind of the beauty of this game though is that there is so much potential there in yeah. just refining even your most basic of movements yeah, it is just so much tech and it's there's still things being discovered oh yeah which is it's always like shocking you know like when more stuff comes out it's like like wow how are we still getting new stuff does this just happen forever or like are we just gonna always find new stuff and so far that's just been the case yeah it gets harder every time too <laughs> yeah yeah the game just gets that much more impossible We do have uh, Mr. Dito, honestly, not far behind. Uh, yeah, not, looking good. Like, in the same room, so this is uh, definitely a solid start here. Um, and honestly, I think most of this time difference here was just made in that um, that swing skip, because Dito did get boosted left and had to take the swing, whereas Roll mm. uh, did get boosted right. So, overall, it's definitely been, uh, been really solid here. Dino... Going oh, for the barely. spike tower barely misses that projectile. Oh my! Dude, the the keyword players have some firefly rooms. I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> that is unholy. Yeah, insane there on rolls end. These freaking keyboard players, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Dude, it is. They're too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them uh, set pretty healthy here on the shard count. Looks good. Uh, Roll just missing the T-boost, so he couldn't quite get the stump jump. But uh, overall, I mean, this autumn's definitely been solid from Roll. Yeah. You know, not that far behind. 
having a little bit of a mishap in that room, but overall it's, it's fine. It's not a huge, huge error. Like, that's pretty much, like, uh, when you're the underdog in a matchup. No! Oh, no, the death! In that... <sighs> Fortunately, that's not too bad of a death, but he's gonna have to quit out for the shards. Yeah, so that's... That definitely hurts. That definitely shows, like, D Dino's ran this game. He's raced this game. He yeah. knows he knows these kind of backups where you gotta think, I got a title screen to get rid of Quarble because he's gonna yeah. eat, like, 80 shards or whatever, and you're just going to be sad. <laughs> like, that's just all there is to it. So, definitely good awareness there from Dito to take that title screen. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we do have Roll going into the Leaf Monster. Let's see what he opts for here. It looks like he's only like a second or less behind his PB. So, really solid Autumn there from, from Roll. For sure. Yeah, nice 610 pace there. Very good, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Dito remembers the shop. Let's see how this shop goes. This is really scary when you haven't played in a while. Okay, 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 okay. It's all good, it's all good. That was made it quite a bit faster than my shops. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. <laughs> Dude, the shop can be hard sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen multiple runners like get to Grotto and you just buy the wrong things and then you just reset the run. <laughs> yeah, like just literally resetting the run over uh, over shopping <laughs> wrong. There is backups for all these situations and race settings, but in a PB attempt, if you just lose like ten seconds or something to being. <laughs> That really screwing up the shop and having the title screen or whatever, it's pretty Ooh. brutal. That was a bit close. <clears throat> Made it through though. A little too close for comfort there. But he did scoot on through. The scooter boo? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the scooter boo. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Nice roll getting the good cycle there. Thankfully that room's not that hard. Like, uh, there's so much lenience that you'll see a lot of us just kind of grab, make sure we kind of grab a bunch of shards um, since you're going to get the cycle anyways once you're used to the room. Yeah. Uh, there is obviously the, the super advanced strat where you reset the cycle to save a tiny bit of time, but it comes at a cost of shards and it's high risk. So It's very hard it's to just not. It's just not a great race strat, I think. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> okay. You know, smartly not going for the butt boost there at 1 HP. I have what? seen that happen before. No, yeah. I mean, <laughs> again, watching too much Bilal. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to know everything not to do you can watch Bilal underscore 13 stream oh yeah that's a good stream to, to <laughs> learn how to not play the game <laughs> oh, man. but now this this catacombs from roll is, is obviously really solid yeah. he did get badonk right i honestly was not paying attention but looking at the pace i would assume so yeah yeah, we'll find out uh, by the end of this catacombs, but yeah, 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 he did get the donk. Um, so, oh no, getting bonked, the skeleton bonking Mr. Dino there. Slows him down a little bit, not that big of a deal. Thankfully that crusher cycle, like the crusher gets out of your way pretty fast. Unlike this room that rolls in right now, this crusher cycle is pretty bad to miss. And he's okay, he not going to be able to go for it. That is smart. Yeah, rather unfortunate. Uh, turn of events there. Yeah, let's see this direction. Pe people have said this is a 50 50. I'm not sure I believe it. Uh, 
Sorry about that. Had someone at the door. How did the Ruxton go? Uh, low for uh, roll and Mr. Dino just missed the dog. Oh. oh, Dino did go for it though. Yeah. Nice. Gotta always respect the attempts. Uh, it's a very hard trick to get. I'm fortunate about the low rugs. I I wonder if uh, Roll's PB. Uh, I think he is losing some time here, so his PB probably had a high Ruxton. Um, so definitely a little bit of a setback there. Um, but Roll obviously still just moving, just playing really solid, really well here so far. <laughs> Very solid rooms by Mr. Dino, though, for, especially for not playing for quite a while. Yeah, exactly. Like, Dino, I mean, he's ran, like, a lot of different games. I, I believe even in Metroid Dreaded, when it came out, he was, like, one of the top five, maybe even top three runners wow. um, for, for a bit there when he was grinding. So, Dino, honestly, a very experienced uh, speedrunner. He's been in a lot of games, a lot of communities, and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome to see he's still able to perform a lot of these rooms and strats, like you were saying, For in sure. the mess in this game, despite having not played in a while. Oh, expecting the low rocks, and that is unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, it's like, imagine getting lucky and getting the, <laughs> the high rocks. Yes, some, some may call it a 50-50. Oh, boy. Okay, the oh, backup. That's actually a tight backup to uh, to get up there off, off the laser beam and the damage boost. Oh my goodness, this is so scary, but I think he's got it here. Woo, he secures that kill. That oh, roll was... getting beat to. Jesus. What a guy. There's things happening. Gameplay is being done and right in front of our eyes. Nice, yeah, nice BC11 there from Rolls in. Super clutch there from, from Mr. Dita. That was a pretty monk steer situation. Yes. Now, we do know the uh, the 251 shard count, so Roll going into that room, he did have over 251 shards, so he's chilling. Basically, as long as you have 251 shards after the waterfall room and you get all the lanterns, um, you're gonna have enough shards for these upgrades. So nothing, nothing to worry about there on the shard count. You only need 275 here. We're all gonna be picking up that uh, underwater boost. We'll be seeing what kind of yeet he opts for later in the water section. The one water section we actually get to use it in this uh, category, and then this route. Yeah, in this route. True. True. <laughs> Well, we gotta say that now. Gotta gotta pretend like the the new route is viable. It's real. Maybe someday, if we can ever figure out how to swim Ooh! in one tile of water. Oh, oh, no. dead. And that's what we were talking about with that room. Yeah, the tree. The tree. Yeah, just Trying in the last race. Victim. Yeah, it is deceiving. Like that room is easy to die in. Yes. You know, a lot of people, they're thinking about the BC-11 coming up, you know, which is a really rough room, but this this room is not one you want to sleep on yep. um, in practice and such. It's it's just, it could be so punishing. <clears throat> we'll see uh, if, oh, nice front boost there from Roll to start off this DK room. He's oh, got to get the DK skip Ooh. right. Yep. It's always a little scary when this, that last stall is that close because you get a bad drift or something, the ninja just kind of drifts on over to the left a little bit extra and touches that stall. It's pretty scary, but he thankfully had a really good turnaround there, really good corner, so he's completely fine. Oh, sweet turnaround there for the Steelheart. You love to see it. The roll obviously is a bit here, a bit ahead here, but um, that's just one of those things where you know Dino's—he's just warming up, man. It's revving up. 
Yeah, he's revving up the speed. Oh no, not this oh, elevator. <laughs> the DLC elevator. The accursed elevator. Okay, we're up there. Oh, he is chilling oh, on Star Town. At least I probably still saved about two minutes over riding the elevator up. And we do have, as Mr. Dino finishes up Bamboo, we have Roll going into the Emerald Golem. One of the longest boss cutscenes that you gotta sit through. Um, but the fight itself, it's not too bad. It, it, it is, it's, it's a little deceptively hard, especially to get a good time on. Phase 2 is very improv heavy. The phase one is like once you've learned it, you pretty much got it. You know, as yeah. long as you count to seven, which it's, is it's hard. Yes, there's people that don't even count. <laughs> they just feel. Yes. Or feel the button press. Your feel think, yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice RNG there on roll side. And we're going kind of dipping down onto the uh, lower left-hand side. I'm not going to have to float down as long. Uh, which is nice. Nice little save. Nothing too crazy, but uh, definitely a solid fight. Getting out of it, too, with two HP. So there was never anything that was even that scary. Yeah. Very solid fight. Unfortunately, Mr. Dino you know, not going to be able to go for DK. Oh here. my nah, goodness. He, he knows, he knows. Okay. <laughs> Roll, moving on into this cool stream. I'm kind of curious because he's been updating uh, his strats so much recently. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious like how many boosts he's going to go for in this room, for example. Looks like he is going to start off with a nice back boost. Nice no, double peanut, on him. Peanut butter boost and no step boost. You yeah, hate to see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, unwatchable gameplay, really. Not, didn't get the peanut butter boost. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, he, he's having a really good right room here. Like, yeah. You can tell he's clearly put in the work into the stage and into his turtle boost in general. Oh, oh I, he did get the slowdown there. Oh, Mr. Dino no. taking another death. Yeah, probably went for the god yeet and got one of those unfortunate, like, really hard to back up situations. Yeah, Rolled yeah. up tight by a mushroom cap. Did you see oh, that? Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I did see that. Oh. Oh, my. There is movement happening. <laughs> there is buttons being pressed. We do have, uh, Rose, I mean, this is fine. Like, he had a little bit of a mishap. That's what's so unfortunate about that, the right room that he did, the really long right room. It's, you get, like, 10 TVs and you bonk, like, one thing, and it's just, like, the room sucked. Yeah. But it was, like, you played really well for the majority of the room. It's just, it's just the nature of the game. Oh, yep. almost got that beautiful float onto the, uh, the mushroom thing. But gets a nice little snipe there. Gonna be throwing the shuriken here. Nice. I love I love that strat, man. Oh, yeah. It used to be so awkward to deal with not having that shuriken at the end there, For and sure. kind of having to run over and smack the switch and get up there. Yeah, like pretty tough. Just just missing the uh, the jump slash because it's for some reason very tight on those switches. Yeah, for sure. Now we do have Mr. Dino going into the Emerald Golem. This is this is scary. When you are a bit rusty, this fight is really scary. Oh my roll goes for your accursed strat in the <laughs> right side climb. It's not cursed at all, man. It's consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might have to talk talk to him about that one. <laughs> <laughs> have an intervention. <laughs> oh no! Oh. 
gets clipped on the corner of the fist. Like I was saying, it, this is one of those fights that it's exceptionally hard if you're a little bit rusty. A queen is kind of that way as well. But Emerald Golem might honestly be even worse. Like it's... Yeah. In general, the bosses can be very brutal on rust. Yeah, because Emerald oh. Golem, you, you take purposeful damage boost. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. The so whips. Close. Oh, did he get the shurikens out in time? I think. That. It had to have been very close. Yeah. Really unfortunate there on roll side. Queen just being one of those fights. Let's see though if Fizzardino can get through the Emerald Golem here. Oh my goodness, how is he going to keep... Wait, did he actually track? Oh my god, he actually tracked seven hits through all that. Wow. Actually, the freaking the blessed one. The one who can count. Jesus. Oh! What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, that was almost so sick. Oh, no! Did you see the... the what Roll just did? Oh, no. I was looking over at Dino's side. I, I might have to watch that back. I don't know if, if my eyes deceived me. Did he get a curse wall or, or did he go under ball or? No, something I, I haven't seen before. Oh, maybe some new strats. Roll's been saving for this exact matchup. <laughs> oh my god, that is sick. Roll went for, uh, he, he killed the first meatball and then. um, Like up above? Yes, in the first screen, and then he continued, full jump glided, and T boost threw another shuriken to kill the second one. <laughs> that is so slag! Oh my god! Yeah, that is high. That that I respect. You know, just sat, throw away some time turning around and shurikening that meatball. Just 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 to send a message. Actually, actually beautiful. All right. Roll just zooming on through crags. Wait, what happened to the meatball, dude? What? Dude, I swear the meatball was just not there. It despawned, did he, dude. Did he kill it with another shuriken? I don't know. Maybe it's, <laughs> homing, maybe it's in his game specifically he has homing shurikens that just oh. get thrown at every meatball. No, I, I'm pretty sure the one we used to get up into the next room was just gone. Like, it just okay. wasn't there, man. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'll take a look at it. I've definitely seen enemies, like, despawn, but I've never seen that meatball despawn. That is quite the curse. Yeah. He just oh, didn't want to go up. It did despawn because he, uh, turned around at a very, like, as it spawned. Oh! Oh, because he probably was going to overshoot that one landing, like on the little ledge. So he he had, no, he, he thought he hit the hit the rope dart on it and wanted to turn and drop, probably. Oh. Uh... But the, the Hansen was a little, or the rope dart was a little too short. So he just yeah. turned and said, that is unfortunate. That is a curse and a half, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is not something you're going to be used to seeing. Um, we do have Roll going into the most RNG heavy point of the entire run, Colas and Seuss's. Oh, that extra boulder on top! You hate to see it. That's the worst is when they're like almost dead and then they just start a whole nother full attack. I mean, at the end of the day, that wasn't like the worst RNG ever, but it was, it was kind of rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, 3 HP going through the bully room on Dino's side. He's honestly smartly. The legendary zero damage bully room. Zero damage, Pog. Gets on through. Everything's fine. Almost through Quill Stream. I'm really curious to see how the queen goes. But meanwhile, get your shovel pleases in the chat. Rolls made it into Glacial. Oh, so far as... His rubber plan, especially, is looking much cleaner than like a, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he's been putting in the work, man. For sure. And I mean, it's been showing in his his PBs, just yeah. getting those sub 30s. Oh no, oh. Mr. Dino, take that's a rough death too. It is a rough death. Bill's room is like, like I. 
once you're really comfortable with the level, there's only a couple spots you, you might um, that are kind of pretty risky. But the one thing that really sucks about Quill Shroom is if you do die, a lot of times we're skipping lots of checkpoints or they're, or they're just few and far between. And like, it's just, the deaths can be very punishing, extremely punishing. We're all flying on through Glacial Peaks right now, though. Oh my goodness, dude. Even the Shuriken Hansan? The Curse? That's probably the hardest Shuriken Hansan to hit, too, because you have to do it immediately after a slash jump. Like, it's a lot of inputs. Yeah. Coming up into that room, so that was pretty sick. Oh, the title screen for Mr. Dino. I wonder what hap happened. Did he miss the opening on the Queen, or...? Oh... Yeah, maybe. He just didn't, he didn't want to deal with the uh, the seeds. Oh, yeah. No special seeds today. Oh, my. Never mind. <laughs> I, think he, I think at this point he's going to give in and just, just let it happen. <laughs> it's a smart call, you know? Like I said, Emerald Golem and Queen, I feel like are like two of the biggest culprits of like, if you're a bit rusty, they're the, yeah. they punish you the most. In, in runs. Oh, this is gonna be sketch. <laughs> no. Oh, the whip! Oh, but another chance at redemption! <laughs> Maybe the seedless fight here. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, the opening. Okay. This is it. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not. Oh, no! She escapes, but she's back. Okay, well, that's gonna be whips, but at least not the seeds. Oh, no, it is. Wait, it is the seeds, not the whips. That is a very weird damage range to get that yes. second seeds in this situation. Um, that's very unlucky. <laughs> oh, my goodness, the plant monster is coming. <laughs> <laughs> You know, having a good, having a good laugh here. Happy to see him uh, participating. It's a great time. Oh, yeah. the whisper! Oh, the whisper. Not going for the double whisper. Yeah. Yeah, shocking. Imagine <laughs> not going for the double whisper. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. Some of these rooms are kind of tricky. Like this room, for example, you just want a really good consistent opening <gasps> or else that happens. <gasps> oh my goodness, Roll is like in full monk steer, but he realizes okay. he can just damage me through. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, the homie. We'll see uh, everything Roll opts for here, see if he gets the health drop. Um, let's see if he gets this Kuni cycle. Cool thing I uh, found out pretty recently, it's actually really nice, is that first rope dart you do in that Kuni cycle room, you you don't have to rope dart that crystal. Like, you could literally just walk over there and slap the crystal, and that's yeah. it, you get the same cycle. <laughs> so that, that rope dart can be pretty cursed, yeah. Um, it's an unfortunate thing about the rope dart is if you use rope dart and it has an attach. Oh my goodness! That was a French. setup. I'd never seen that setup for French, but he made it work. That was cool. Um, you know what I was saying is like if you send the rope dart out and it doesn't attach to anything and you turn, it just gets rid of the rope dart, which can be really shocking. No. Speaking of shocking, Mr. Tito <laughs> dying in crags. Oh my goodness, the 3 HP Poopa slide though! You mean the code and slide? <laughs> oh no. Oh, the drift. Oh, nice backup though. Yeah, oh, good. this 2 HP in this room is so scary. Narga Bird? <laughs> oh, he gets, he gets a health drop. <laughs> Narga Bird. <laughs> <sighs> All right, rolling it though. I have a solid run here. I mean, this this should sub thirty one. Yeah. Um, as long as nothing goes horribly wrong. Let's see how this crystal abuse goes. Nice, gets it. 
That's one of those strats, it's pretty easy. But there's also just lasers there, so if you miss it up, you just die. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the double whammy! <laughs> That's, those spikes are just... They're just rude. Why would they make the spikes, like, that long? That many yeah. of them? <laughs> we'll, have, just... we'll have to get that patched out in the uh, definitive edition. Just get rid of the spikes and lasers. Yeah, yeah. What Dino's doing right now, some some might be thinking he's given up this race, but really he's actually doing some advanced uh, RNG manipulation. If you sit for the pause screen on the second checkpoint in Crags for approximately until Roll finishes this race, it does guarantee you a high rex in, in the uh, the next match. So Very this is good actually strategy. a yeah, super advanced strategy um, coming out here from Mr. Dino and GG Roll. Yeah. Dude, 3036, is that... That might be the best time in the tournament so far. And with a death uh, too. I can't remember what Halfling's best time was, but that that definitely is uh ranking up there. Um yeah.